watching CBS 2 News in high definition. A gruesome crime has rocked a quiet suburban town. A father shoots and kills his two young children and beats his wife to death before killing himself. The question tonight, why? It happened in the affluent neighborhood of Cross River, 20 miles north of White Plains in Westchester County. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is live there with this very sad story. Tony? Dana, it will be a long time before this community shakes off the shock. A suburban lawyer who had a reputation as being mild-mannered. His wife, a former bank vice president, seen as much more of a go-getter. They were living separate lives under the same roof as they went through a bitter divorce. But no one who knew this family could have anticipated this deadly violence. The man committing suicide after bludgeoning his wife and shooting his own children. The last known images of Sam Friedlander, seen in Monday morning video obtained exclusively by CBS 2 News. This was just hours before his children's lives ended in horror. Gregory and Molly Friedlander, slain in the most senseless way imaginable. When you hear about a, a, a suicide murder, uh, uh, or murder-suicide, it's always a horrible, horrible thing, especially when children are, are involved. It makes it even that much worse. Psychologist Harris Straitner says we can only speculate about what happened behind the closed doors of 2 Lambert Ridge Road. Samuel and Amy Friedlander in the midst of a difficult divorce. Friends telling police he had recently changed. He seemed somehow different. Although they had no indication whatsoever that his behavior would have led to what uh, has transpired here. Police say sometime Monday into Tuesday, Friedlander bludgeoned Amy with a leg from a piece of furniture. Then he entered his children's rooms, shot them as they lay in their beds, and covered their bodies with a bedspread. Friedlander then went to the basement and turned the shotgun, similar to this model, on himself, using a ruler to push the trigger because his arm was too short to reach it. I can tell you this. When somebody does an act of murder-suicide, they are desperate. It's a desperate act. Straightener says desperation and rage usually fuel crimes like this. The Friedlanders were due in court tomorrow as part of the process of finalizing their divorce after 11 years of marriage. Could it have just been sheer rage at his wife and that he killed her and then killed the children? These are all things that we would want to know. We'd want to know the order. And I'm sure that's what the police are examining. And this is horribly tragic. I know they'll figure out what happened. And all we can do is hope to learn from it so that uh, this tragedy is not in vain. Tonight, CBS 2 has learned state police do have a working theory that Friedlander killed his wife first and then the children. They do not know whether this was spontaneous or if it had been premeditated. The house was listed on the market five months ago for $799,000. Police found many documents and files in the house. They're going through those, but so far nothing that you would consider a suicide note. Live in Cross River in Westchester County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The horrific tragedy has deeply shaken the community of Cross River. River, A neighbor who last saw Sam Friedlander at her business on Monday believes his visit there was a way of saying goodbye. The community now struggling to understand why he would kill his entire family. To bludgeon your wife and then turn a shotgun on your children. Uh, makes no sense. What could have been so horrible to do this, especially to your own children? I have a knot in my stomach, and I don't think it's going to go away for a long time. The Friedlanders had been going through a divorce, as Tony said, but the people we spoke with said there were no signs that things would turn out so horribly.